Hello and welcome to the 1875 Talk Show. My name is Luke, I am your host, and welcome to what is a swelteringly hot Tuesday morning. Before we get into it, I would like to say thank you to everyone. Every single time I give you lot a target to hit, you absolutely smash it like I knew all the blue noses would. There is a startling amount of you who are not subscribed, so please, if you have a subscribe, please consider subscribing. It really does help the channel out. Thank you very much. And finally, to today's big news. Looks like we've got our club back, boys. Paul Richardson provides huge takeover update. Yesterday, I did a video stating that Paul Richardson and Maxi Lopez, or should I say Maxi Lopez, was going to do an announcement at 9am. That announcement never came. As far as I'm aware, I haven't seen anything. Birmingham City supporters have got their club back after Paul Richardson confirmed he and Maxi Lopez have exchanged contracts over a takeover. Richardson has been addressing the media at St Andrews this morning and appears to bring an end to the hopes of bullshit bars hoping to complete the takeover. It appears to be a new dawn for Birmingham City below is a look at what some of the supporters have says. Lopez at the back post, I like that. Uh, what is happening? Although I was sceptical about taking over the Blues with certain periods, like with everyone, they just have to be given a chance. I just I just hope they will do what's best for the club and pump in as much money as needed to rebuild the stance and players. We've got our club back. So thankful it hasn't fell to Pacini. Blues hopefully going to be in good hands at the start of a better journey for, for the football club. Hope this does a, is the start of something new. I really bloody hope not. And just to... Another one, this actually was posted on his Instagram this morning. Paul Richardson again, he is a blue nose. So, that doesn't surprise me in my shape or form. I am really happy it was Paul Richardson that has posted on, that, that has got the club, if it is true. Which, obviously, Paul Richardson has been talking to the media at St. Andrews and confirms that contracts have been exchanged. <coughs> Former Richardson claims his consortium is within EFL approval of becoming Beers, Birmingham City's new owners. Together with full barrage tied footballer Matthew Lopez and Bisbee, a Blues fan are aiming to own 21.64% of BSH within a couple with a couple or three weeks. Uh, I had to when they say that. Richardson told Birmingham Live St Andrews, uh, which is currently owned by Beers, Birmingham City Stadium Limited, will be included in the first part of the deal with ownership of the remainder of the club being transferred in the next two to two and a half years. He also revealed he intends to add the man to the management team with a controversial former Cholton chief executive, Matt Southall, coming in as new CEO. Interesting. Maxi Lopez insists to take over Birmingham City with Paul Richards only being financed by their consortium, ex Argentina international footballer. Lopez has joined forces with local businessmen. <coughs> the pair are at St Andrews today, having exchanged contracts and paid their deposit on Monday. Well, we got our club back, boys. It's happening. Uh, a quick word from Lopez down here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's our money. I have been working for this for almost one year. I think it's a huge project with this team. When we spoke about this project before, we believed we could do big work with this for our fans. Uh, we exchanged our contracts on Saturday after many months. We paid our deposit on Monday, and now we're here today to find out how the club works and do our DD, which is due diligence. We will have to wait for EFL approval, which may take two or three weeks. Then we will go to completion. Well, yeah, that's about right. I would like to point out that I haven't heard anything from HKSE at this point. In fact, I've just uh, paused it just quickly. As you can see, nothing has been done. It is interesting, I will say that. I think this is the best chance Blues have got. And I think every fan needs to get behind the new owners, if you want to call them that, as soon as possible. And we really need to show our support for things like this as soon as possible. This is great news for the club. It's the beginning of a new era for the club. And things can only get better from now on does that mean i am more hopeful for the next season no i tell you why the next season is always going to be about survival it's never going to be about rebuild when uh, i think it was craig garner that mentioned that three-year plan last season it it, it it was never going to be it never started last season it starts now as of the moment they get the keys it starts at that moment and that's something that all the blues fans need to realize that 
it is going to take time. We are going to have terrible results over the coming months. We're going to have good results. Hell, we could be completely surprised that we absolutely smash the league. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think it's going to happen either. I think, honestly, I think we're going to scrape survival. And as as I've said to many people, if we can survive with five games to go, I will be happy as a pig in shit. And I think that's what we need to focus on now, as a team, as a fan base. We need to get behind the lads. We need to get behind the owners. Okay, right on, everyone. Thank you very much again for smashing that subscribe goal. I was astonished to hit a hundred over 100 subs now uh, i'm just gobsmacked and so thankful to every single one of you again i know i'm going to keep banging on about it and i know people are getting bored of hearing it now but for those of you who are not subscribed maybe you've clicked on the link from facebook or wherever could you please think about subscribing down below it really really does help the channel out and i really want to carry on bringing you as much news as much updates match reviews and everything i can about the blues until you like get bored of hearing my voice to be honest which hopefully ain't gonna be for a while but thank you very much and once again keep right on this has been the 1875 talk show bye guys